Hey Jazz Heads. So it's been a good couple of weeks since we last caught up. In the middle of another really busy week, I'm currently playing on a musical, Spam A Lot, for this week, which has been really fun. couple of days left of that. I also had a gig last night with my university band. Uh, we were playing for the University Athletic Union uh, Awards Dinner. So we played lots of old sports themes. Uh, we did Masquinada. <laughs> If you're old enough to remember, um, Nike used with the Brazilian football team in the 90s, playing football in an airport or something I seem to remember. We played some bits from Rocky. <laughs> and Rocky 3. Wimbledon. Grandstand. The Northern Ireland football fans favourite, Will Griggs on fire. Dreadlock Holiday, or I Don't Like Cricket. <laughs> Chariots of Fire. <laughs> the Chain, or better known, the Formula One theme. I think that was about it. It was a fun gig. It was really good. They played really nicely. So I was rooting around uh, this week and I found a bag of old mouthpieces that I don't use anymore. I like to think I'm not that bad with mouthpieces, but there was a whole bunch in there that I haven't played in years. So obviously I'm worse than I think. Uh, so yeah, anyway, today's task is to clean them up a bit so I can sell them on. Um, I managed to find a Warburton. An old Flugel mouthpiece, another Warburton, a couple of Warburton backboards, and a couple of really old Yamahas. As you can see, they're all tarnished. Just ha it just happens uh, when you just leave silver-plated stuff in a bag for years uh, without doing anything. Uh, so I'm gonna clean them up a bit, and I saw a little trick online, so I'm gonna test it out today and see how it works for you. So apparently, if you stick your trumpet mouthpiece in uh, hot water with aluminium foil and baking soda, it should strip the tarnish right off and they'll come out looking brand new again. And then I'll be able to sell them on. So, I'm gonna have a go at that today. Let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna give this a go, uh, see what happens. Um, so the theory is, if you get your dish, which is heat proof dish, your foil, line your dish, with your aluminium foil. Pop your mouthpiece in. Uh, I've just boiled the kettle, so some water that's just below boiling point. Uh, it's gonna have sat there for a minute or so by the time I pour it in. Uh, and add baking soda. Um, I don't think there's an exact science to how much baking soda you add per mouthpiece. I've not read one. Uh, so 
this is a bit of trial and error for me, so we'll find out if it works together, I suppose. Hopefully this might be useful for you. Um, what I believe, I believe is to do with surface area of the foil to the mouthpiece and the baking soda. So I'm gonna start off by just putting maybe one mouthpiece in. Let's see what happens. If it works, I'll maybe try a couple. Anyway, let's see how it goes. So this mouthpiece has been in there about 15 minutes now and the solution stopped bubbling. I've got my tongs because that water's still really hot. Look at this. In fact, let's get him out. Look at that. Considering how tarnished it was, that's 15 minutes in the solution. That's pretty good. That works really well. That's cool. I'm going to give the rest a go now. So the mouthpieces are out of the solution and it's worked really well. This is that Yamaha that I was showing you earlier when it was really tarnished. Uh, it's really weird. So you like put it straight in the solution and it bubbles away, straight away. Um, and it almost goes, it goes clean pretty quick. Uh, I ended up waiting until like all the bubbles had finished, which is about 15 minutes with like one tablespoon in that amount there. Um, and I only put one mouthpiece in at a time. Uh, I put the backboards and the Wilburton tops in together. They came out quite nice, the Warburton tops. Look at those. Um, so yeah, it, it's worked really well. It's actually surprised me quite a lot. Uh, there's still a little bit to do. There's things like, you can see the marks on there, but I should be able to get that with a scouring pad or a mouthpiece brush and a bit of pipe cleaner and stuff. So I should be able to get them up really nice. Um, again, though, that was one of the really tarnished Yamaha ones as well. Um, I think this came with my trumpet when I was about 15. It's this old 11B4. Um, but yeah, so that works really well. I just got to give them a little bit of a scrub in some washing up liquid now. finished articles this is uh, one of the Yamaha ones again I showed you earlier that was tarnished and look at it now I can't believe it it's brilliant so there you go got tarnished mouthpiece that's a great way to clean it up and what have I got coming up for you oh next week I've just been working on some of the parts putting the parts together this afternoon I've got the very first rehearsal of my new band the uh, Duncan Fraser Septet uh, we're getting a little rehearsal together uh, next Thursday uh, and then hopefully after that we'll be able to get some gigs in the in a diary so stay tuned to the website for when gigs are. Um, got a couple more nights of uh, spam a lot to do I'm about to go off and do a show in an hour or so but yeah stay tuned for all the other things that I'm up to. See you soon. <laughs>